We've just finished the new logo here inside of Illustrator and we're ready to send this out for professional printing or to the client. What we don't want to do is include all of this dead white space inside of our final artwork. And I'll show you why in a practical example in just a minute. But first things first, let's get rid of that white space. So if I go and grab the artboard tool, we could of course grab an edge or go and grab a corner and resize the artboard. We'd get there in the end, but this is obviously the long tedious way to do this. Let me undo a couple of steps. The best way is to go up under the object menu, artboards and choose fit to artwork bounds. And we are done guys, end of tutorial. But let me show you that uh, example I was talking about just a minute ago. So if I scoot Illustrator over just a touch so I can see my desktop just here, there's two PNG files. So firstly, to create a ping file in Illustrator, file, export, export for screens. I went to the artboard section, export artboard. Okay, and I've generated two PNG files. So this one just here where the artwork is flush up against the edge of the Illustrator file, I've called that logo no padding. And then if I undo one step, the version with the white spacing in just here, the white padding, I've called that logo with padding. So let's jump into InDesign because I'm working on my design just here and I'm thinking we need to put our new logo in the upper right corner just here. Pressing W to reveal my margins and guides and zooming in just up here, what I want to do is use these three lines just here to mark the edges of the logo. So let's go and grab logo with padding and drag this in. So now comes the extremely tedious process of trying to resize this to get it to fit nicely to those margins and guides. You see, the problem is guys, the snapping, any automatic snapping, which is available to us, doesn't really help because the artwork doesn't get to the edge of the image. So look, this is getting pretty close, but you can see if I zoom in really close, it hasn't lined up here. So again, we'd get there in the end, but a very tedious process. So let me delete that and logo no padding. Let's drag that in. Okay, so I'll start in the upper right corner just here, drag down to the guide, and bang, we are done, guys. So you can see if I zoom in just here, all the artwork is nicely, perfectly aligned to our margins and guides. Very nice. So just jumping back into Illustrator. So just reminding you, objects, artboards, fit to artwork bounds. That's generally the final thing you want to hit just before you are ready to send out your final artwork.